Alrighty guys, it is the 2nd of February, um, just a rough start, um, I'm going to an art market on Sunday, I have a whole vlog that's going to be dedicated towards it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I'm happy because I got Aoka ordered, who's my Patreon exclusive sticker for January, um, I already have a thought of who I want to do for February, which is Naze, who is a child of Nadu, which is my character, and Zello, who is my friend Emily's character. They both had a baby girl who's a panda, which is just don't, just don't ask. But she's going to be the sticker for this month. I wanted her to be the sticker for last month, but it just wasn't working. So we're just going to do it for this month. Ain't no shame in our game. I might post on Patreon something I'm working on, which is a little drawing digitally I'm doing. So I might post that, a preview of that on Patreon. Just kind of keep my Patreon alive um, because I feel like I don't share a lot of things and I feel like it's boring for most people. So I feel like I'm just going to like pop on every now and again. But yeah, that is it. So I have nothing else to talk about. Nothing else. Alrighty guys, it is the 7th of February, of course it's night time. I haven't really been vlogging like that because guys, apparently I have another toothache, which is crazy i know um i've been trying to slack not slack on sugar intake i've been trying to be good but i don't know what's up i think it's the tooth in my back that's ear because i looked in a mirror and it's like red around it red or black around it so i'm guessing that tooth is like very irritated and i'm starting to think it's my wisdom tooth that the doctor who took my wisdom to you out left in. I don't feel, it's like, there's no swelling, which is fine, but it's like pain in my back jaw, and then one of my teeth up here is very sensitive. So I'm hoping it's not removal. I hope, because I have one tooth back here that needs to get taken out, but it doesn't hurt. Like, it's like, if it's not hurting you, don't fix it. Like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. It just doesn't hurt me, so I'm like, why? But it's a tooth down here that's just badly, like, it's like Narelle. Like, what is up? My sister got me some Girl Scout cookies, and I can't even eat them until this pain goes away, which I hope it's just a cavity. And all of that good stuff. So anyway, welcome. <laughs> um, I just finished editing. Well, I didn't finish editing the whole thing, but I edited a majority of my art market vlog. So that's all done. My video for Friday is all done. So I'm excited. Like, bruh, I'm excited. But I'm going to do some sketching because I haven't sketched in a very long time. Oh, I'm lying. I haven't sketched since Monday because I was at my sister's place and I did two full fully colored realistic doodles and I'm actually proud of myself because I didn't expect to get that much done. It looks super super good. I'm super happy. Um, I'm almost done with the sketchbook believe it or not so I'm happy about that. But let's get some sketching in. I got these cute like cat pins from Target. I'm excited. Super, super excited. I want one that has the pink and the blue, because, uh, that's not the one I'm looking for. Guys, quick vlogging. Today's the 11th of February. Um, I just want to come in and say I got an order on my shop. Um, a lovely gentleman ordered a shelter sticker. These stickers have been kind of popular on my shop. I only have three left, so... The lucky last three people will be getting the last copies because I will not be restocking this sticker anymore. So, um, yeah, and I reprinted um, some prints from my art market, but these ones of my Visual K Boy, these have already been prints in my shop. So, I'm just kind of reusing them for shop orders so you at least can get the print again. But, um, anyway, thank you so much, is and I always include a free sticker, which is Sing Su Ling from Banana Fish. So, um yeah thank you for your order hey guys i'm officially starting my new sketchbook i already decoded it out um i bought this sticker from my table mate at the art market um i had some of these clear stickers left from stationary pal so i just decoded it out with this um these two stickers i got from pencil butter um as like freebies for my commission i did it for her not for her i got 
you know, I got a commission by her, so I got freebies in there. Um, this is the sticker of Molly, um, Jordan, and Ika from Oban Star Racers. This came with my Kickstarter package. It's one of the rewards. Uh, stuck it in here. And this is my sticker of La Harl and Fwan. So, you know, had to put them in here. But, yeah, I think this is it for the sticker section. I do have the inside of this. If I can get it open, guys, and please just work work with me. Okay. Anyway, I still have the inside of this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do the inside because this is one of those sketchbooks where this page is stuck on that page. So I feel like for right now, this is like good for me and I can just be like, I love the look. Alrighty, guys, it is the 12th of February. Um, it's a little bit dreary today. I don't know why I look so sad, but anyway. My Patreon stickers finally are here. They were supposed to be here on the 15th. I'm so glad they're here earlier because I can get these shipped out. Plus, my order from Etsy shipped out. So, yeah. I'll try to open this. I have my scissors right next to me. But, I'm going to be original and get this open. My hands. Okay. I'm not even going to worry about the extra. Sticker Mule sends the same exact extras all the time. Um, so my sticker is of Alka. It's actually pretty tiny. Look at this. It's really, really small. But anyway, I'll see how it looks like. So one, two, three, go. Oh, it's cute. It's so cute. I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of like, I don't, I'm not debating my choices. I kind of am like, I um, wish I kind of did get it as a die cut because at least it'll have like a border. But for what it is, is actually really cute. It's really cute. Alrighty, guys. So this is how he looks. He looks cute. Super, super cute. I think the colors turned out oh, great. I like how the colors look. Um, and yeah, the, the purple, the lavender. On my camera, it looks very vibrant. But in real life, it kind of looks a little dull. I'm not going to lie to you. But it, for what it is, it's worth it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. It is the 12th of February. I already spoke to you. Like, what is this? Anyways, um, today is actually my grandfather's birthday, so my grandma lit a candle for him earlier on, so just to remember him, because he has passed away. He passed away back in 2004? 2004, yeah. So it's been a hot minute. But anyways, I miss you, Grandpa. But um, I just finished packaging up my Patreon rewards. I'm so late on these guys, it doesn't make any sense. But um, I already showed you the stickers of Alka, this one. Um, so I have a few copies of him left. I have a lot of him left, so he'll be up in March, so you guys can grab him in March. But I will ship these out on Friday, because I have a picture from my friend Philip that I need to get remade. Because, like I said, his picture got lost in transit, so I'm going to have to redraw it. So I think I'm going to work on that um, within the next day or so, because I pretty much have this whole week off of work. So I have a lot of time to get it done. Um... But yeah, so I really want to go ahead and get started designing the Patreon reward for this month, which is going to be Naze. I'm super excited. Um, I kind of already have a design made for her, but I just did not like how it looks. So I think I'm going to reimagine it and see how it goes. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm literally on, like, on a high waiting for the 13th because Jinx gets updated every third of the month, like 3, 13, 23. And I'm like, bruh, I cannot wait for the update. So I think it's it updated like tomorrow. So I'm waiting for 12 o'clock because I'm like, Jinx, get updated. Anyway, but that's it. So I will see you guys later. If I finish Naze, I'll probably show you her. But um, yeah, my room is a mess, guys. It's been a mess for the past two weeks, it seems. So I need to just get my life back because I'm tired of my room being a mess and the way your room looks is the way your life is. A hot mess. <laughs> um, anyway, that's that. So I will see you guys when I get Naze done, hopefully.
let's pray that she'll get done because I can work on her as a side digital drawing because I'm still working on Kusa and Kayoma. They've been in the works for almost a week and I just feel like I want to restart their drawing from scratch and just try to go about it in a unified coloring approach. So I'm going to come back to that one. But other than that, it's been good over here <laughs> somewhat it's been good over here alrighty guys getting the filming like with the camera it's just so hard to do it when you have such a big sketchbook and your phone charger is right there but anyway I finished Naze's drawing for the most part this is what I'm going for um, and I'm going to do something I've never done I'm going to make her have like a pink outline so she's outlined in pink and I don't know this is going to be a die cut sticker so i don't want it to be so weird in the outline so i think i might not do these little hearts on the side maybe i'll give make her have like heart pattern on her sweat sweater maybe but i don't want to make the hearts so prevalent in this design because you know you know it's a it's a cute um it's a cute draw, um, sticker design, but it's lovey-dovey, but I don't want it to be too lovey, you know? So anyways, this is the design I'm going with. I just got to line it, which I would probably do tomorrow, and then scan it. And then coloring it, I could do tomorrow um, and get it done. But, bro, look, look how cute this is. It's so cute. Alrighty, guys. Um, it is Friday morning. I'm actually kind of late to go to work. Because my grandma couldn't find her medical ID card. But I feel like I'm going to make this like a day in a life type style vlog. Because I haven't done it in a while. I um, only have a half a day. Which is good. But I just hope... It's not one of those days that just kind of feel like it drags on, you know? Because it's been feeling like those type of days this past couple of weeks. I'm going to be about three minutes late, but my grandma comes first before my job. But everything be all good. So I don't know how much updating I'm going to do because I don't want to film on the road. But I guess I will see you when I get to my job. <laughs> Because I just want her up and go. Because I don't want nobody being like, why are you late? You know, you know, I ain't got time for that this early in the morning. But Alrighty, guys. I got through two songs and I'm almost at work. Um, I'm literally like one minute late right now. Um, normally, I could time when we get to work. Because if I leave like at 8.15, normally we'd be at work around like 8.25, 8.24. But, you know, it's okay. Like, my grandmother was freaking out and I just cannot like not pay attention to her because i don't know i just i just have a special place in my heart oh it's for my grandmother but it's just i don't know with her it's just like she's important i just hope today is not a slow and painful day because as those are the worst we are looking wrapped around so i guess there is a positive in this Alrighty, guys i am off of work. Luckily, I'm in an angle where people cannot see that I'm talking to myself. Trying to get my apron off. And it's difficult. There we go. Alright. So, um... I'm on the way to go home because we had to go grocery shopping and all of that good stuff. So, woo, I got one more day left for work until I'm off until Monday. <laughs> but, let's hit the road. Do what I'm doing, guys. But this is literally my ride home. Um, my ride home really isn't that bad, so I could probably manage it for a couple of minutes with one hand. But yeah, this is just what it looks like. My countryside, um, it's pretty chill, very quiet. But yeah, today has just been a really good day. At work, it was slow, but overall, it's been a really, really good day. Oh. 
Alrighty guys, so we pretty much finished all the shopping. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the back. We got some Bojangles. And I'm, go I'm gonna rant about freaking Bojangles. Okay, so we go in there because my grandma wanted to try the fish sandwich. Um, my sister was like, oh my gosh, it's delicious. So my grandma was like, let me try it. So I get to the, or I get to like the ordering person. I'm not trying to be mean, but Bojangles, where I am at, like, Bojangles where I am at straight like attitude like the people there sometimes you'll sometimes you'll get nice people but then other times you'll get just rude people and the rudeness is literally on 10 so I'm up there and I'm like dude I want I didn't say dude I was like I want to try the fish sandwich and I was like give it to me plain and the guy was like well do you want this biscuit this biscuit with the fish sandwich and I was like well is it the di is one of them different or are they both the same he was like they're different so I'm like give me the fish sandwich plain so he got an attitude at me and then I proceed to sit there and give him my order and he had a whole attitude with my freaking order and I was like, yo, what's the issue? I ain't got time. Like, I ain't got time for nobody's attitudes but my own. And I literally just got out of work. And I just don't got time. So it should, he left me up there at the front counter for like 10 plus minutes to talk to his coworkers. And it just pissed me off. And I was just like, I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, I want to tell you more in detail, but there's literally some guy pumping guys looking at me. Um, and I don't want to seem any more weirder than I am. But I'm heated. I'm heated. Alrighty, guys. I don't have much space left on my phone. But I just wanted to unbox... This very non-eventful package. Hold on. You guys are so like oily. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I literally just had Bojangles, but anyway, let's get this open, shall we? Bam, bam. Ah! I got volume two of Love Is an Illusion. Ah! Daddy Dojin and he sung. Um, the story is, the story actually is going by very very quick in these volumes, cause I think it's over I think it's over like three hundred pages in each of these books, so they're actually pretty hefty. Um, and I think there's six books. I think the first three is of like he sung and Dojin. And then the other one, I think he sung and Dojin have like the first three books. And then Dojin's brother and Hesu has a book for them. And I think five and six is like the extras that are in the story. But brah, look at my babies. Alrighty guys, it is the 18th of February. February is going by really slow. I just noticed that January went by so quick. February is taking its sweet precious time. Maybe it's because it's literally one extra day that's making it feel like, ugh, February needs to end right now. But anyway, uh, I just finished my second drawing out of a challenge that I totally am not doing. I'm trying to do a drawing a day, meaning I just pick something to draw, pick a character to draw, whatever, just draw something a day. So I think this is the second one, third, I guess, I don't know. And I redrew a drawing of Rohe and Aiko that I really liked. The redraw, the one I did now is cute, but I feel like I could have it, gave it a little bit more love, but for what it is, it's cute. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the redraw, the one I just did now. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. For what it is, it's cute. Like, I don't I don't hate it. There are things about it I don't like, but it's cute. At the end of the day, it's cute. It's a very, very quick drawing. Not too out of the ordinary. And then here's the old version, which is this. So you can see, oh my gosh, guys, I suck. You can see there's a clear difference in how I draw, as you can see. And Rohe, let me take it out the sleeve. Hold on, just one second. All right, so this is it without the sleeve on. I'm sorry, guys. So this was thrown on, I think, watercolor paper. Why I would do that with marker is beyond me. But yeah, this was done on watercolor paper. 
<laughs> and this was on Instagram, I believe. I think I posted it on Instagram. But when I did this, I was super happy with it. I was like, oh my god, this is the best drawing of Aiko and Rohe I've ever done. And to some extent it was, because I never would have drawn them like this. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, girl, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Look at Rohe's face. Look at Aiko. Look at the line art. Like, bruh. Like, I always hated lining on watercolor paper. So maybe I just did as much as I could to get it over with. Because I just wanted to color it. But why did I choose marker? Like, why did I choose marker? Like, guys, I question my antics sometimes. But at the end of the day, is it a horrible drawing? It is not. Could I have made better choices? I really could have. But it's cute for what it is. Hey, hoozles. I feel like I got my art vibe done with the day. Um, I did that drawing actually last night, so I just kind of did Rohe last night, and I came back with a fresher mind to finish it up, because I always do my drawings all in one sitting, and I hate myself for doing that, because when you wake up, you're like, oh my gosh, Nyrell, why did I put this detail here, you know? You always question your antics, so I feel like get as far as you can on a drawing, in an hour or so and then wake up with fresh eyes and just see what went wrong and with the newer version like i said there are still some things that i could have fixed but since it's just a doodle not something i sell um i think it's you know okay Alrighty guys, it is the 20th of february um very soon it's gonna be march in 10 days um i'm sitting here thinking i need to make more stickers because the stuff in my shop is just basic things. And I feel like there's not a lot of variety. Um, I'm currently working on a drawing of Hawk right here. It's not even, like, flared out. Hold on. Hey, the hoozles. Um, it's not flared out yet, so I'm getting there. I want to make some more stickers. Um, one of my friends suggested me to do Samurai Shampoo stickers, which I have not done. I feel like I want to make... Um, some more sticker sets for shows in which I like, and I'm very surprised I have not done Akatsuki and Oyona. So I think I'm just going to write down some series that I really like. I'm going to have to be strict with the fan art ones because copyright exists, and if copyright exists, you can't upload it on Etsy because Etsy is getting like very strict with like copyright um, material. So I'm trying to like be smart about it. I'm going to write it in the back of the sketchbook because I always use the back as like blank, like swatch stuff. Alrighty guys, my first new bookmark is done with the sketches. If you can't tell, it's Mugen from Samurai Shampoo. I'm hoping I can sell these because you just, just got to be careful with certain shows because sometimes they're not going to be sellable. I don't like the top of his hair that much, so I might cut it off like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. But he's cute, nonetheless. Alrighty, guys. It's a new day. 27th of February. You're currently in the awkward spot. But my stickers of Naze came. And oh my gosh, guys. She is so cute. And not Sticker Mule becoming creative with the stickers. Not Sticker Mule, though. But she's so cute. She looks like a peeker sticker. You know those stickers people make of anime characters where it's their eyes up? That's what she looks like. But oh my gosh, guys. Can we not say how cute this girl is? She's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. She'll look better with it without being in the plastic. But oh my gosh. I love this. Love it lots. I would have to say out of all the stickers I made, which is legit only two, this is my favorite one. Ah, oh, she's so cute. So, 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 so cute. And my other sticker was a square one. This is a die cut. I tried to not only do die cut stickers so much, but uh, she is legit everything. And she came in time. So, I was today is Tuesday. I will send this out Friday. So, uh, my patrons can have this on time. Because I'm tired of being late with patron stickers. Tired of being late. Hey guys, it's much later. But I just bought some new business cards. Um, Mr. Print is kind of expensive though. I ain't gonna lie. But, um, I think the minimum quality the site gives you is 100. But I was like, can I just get lower than 100? So you're able to get 50. 
But still, $18 for 50 business cards is a little bit much. But I'm going to simple route. I'm just going to do a one side business card. Because I didn't know both sides was like over $20. Because I always question why. I'm like, why is this so expensive? But if you do the back, it's like $8 more. So I'm like, nah, honey. We're just going to do the front. So anyway, um, I just did an updated version. Because my business cards that I have now... It does not reflect my brand. It doesn't reflect me at all. I only made my business cards the way it's made because the design was cool. But I'm like, I need to have more well branded business cards. And I felt bad because a lot of the information that were on my old business cards are not accurate. So at least I'll have some new business cards um, before my next event. Alrighty guys, it is the last day of February, the 29th. I feel like I have not vlogged at all in January and February, but I think February has a little bit more, you know, stuff in it to it. So, um, yeah, so I just got back in from picking up my brother, taking my grandma to the doctor, doing all that stuff, so I'm officially home home. And upon my arrival, I got my order from... Lelaine Art Geek. I love her. Love her a lot. Ah, love her. I can't show you the front of it because literally it has all of our information. But she decked out this package. So I'm going to try to open it to the safest of my ability. Because I really do not want to ruin... I don't want to lose a sticker on the front. So I don't know if I can just take it off. No, it's like on there, on there. <laughs> so I'm going to have to be very creative with this. But yes, I had to order from her shop at least once. Because, bruh, I love her. I love her a lot. So here's the note. So it states, thank Narelle. Thank you, thank you so much for your order. I hope you enjoy everything. Love, Lelaine Art Geek. She is so cute. I love her. <laughs> But yeah, that's the note that she put on top of it. I always keep my notes, so I'm going to put it somewhere um, where I can find it. Let me cut it off of here. I'm actually pretty happy I got my scissors this time. Because half the time I don't have my scissors. Alright, now let me open what I get. Okay. Oof. Pulling these out. Okay. Oh, one of my stickers got stuck. So, the first sticker I ordered was her Hatsune Miku sticker. Um, I will show these from the white way round so you can get the qualities of this a little bit better. But, bruh, this is so cute. So, so, so cute. Again, I hope you're able to see this somewhat. So, yep, I got her Hatsune Miku sticker. And then I got her Soul and Maka sticker. Again, hopefully you can see this without glaring a little bit too much. Ah, this is the freebie sticker. Uh, I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it. So, those are the stickers that I got. And, of course, here is her business card or it's like a free print it's like a free print she gives you so yeah that is it all right so here's the print it's super super pretty like it's literally pretty in pink that's what it is um and here's the miku sticker here's the soul and maka sticker which is so cute so, 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 so cute. And this is the freebie sticker. And here is the notes. Her handwriting is goals. Like, she has a really pretty handwriting. And then here is the back of the envelope. 
Alrighty guys, much better. So, um, I'm currently watching Lookism. I have two episodes left. Like, I got through this really fast. You get through this show really, really quick. Um, I skipped open and ending because I'm not really a fan of both. So you kind of get through it faster if you skip the opening and endings. But besides the point, I'm on an episode called Recommendation where at the end of the episode, the main guy kind of like realizes who he is and just kind of comes back to terms with himself and he sings like the like an acapella version of the song everyone knows fly up and i'm over here freaking bawling crying because i relate to this song like i listen to the song all the time and i didn't watch lookism at all i didn't watch it i didn't read it so when i was listening to it i'm just like okay you know it's a good song but when you watch the show and then listen to the song it hits you a whole different way Alrighty guys, so I just finished Lookism, like literally two minutes ago. Bruh, that was so good. I, I, if I had to rate that, a million, ooh, ooh, a million out of ten. Like guys, that show was so good. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna read the comment because it is kind of lengthy, but for what I saw, this is amazing. This is legit, hands down amazing. I don't know, I just love how they focused on one's growth and one's, uh, one's acceptance of who they are. I love how that was the main message. Uh, it just felt like you can't forget who you are. You can be different, but you are you at the end of the day, regardless if you don't want to accept who you are. You are you, and life will give you your flowers. You will have your blessings, but with time, it'll come. And I don't know. I just liked it. I liked it a lot. I feel like I would rewatch it.